I don't say I hate many things. That is not the question. <laughs> and I don't know why some people own them. When is baby number two coming? I don't think that can go on the internet yet. Created that I didn't think that people liked me? Yes. First kiss. What is going on? <laughs> welcome to our car. And welcome to our lives. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> so today, we decided it was time to do a part two of the Q&A. Now you guys really enjoyed the last one. We enjoy making them. We love answering your questions. So, let's do this. Got a little... Drinkity. What oh. would Weston's name have been if he was a girl? Maven is what we had as our girl name. But now the only reason I'm saying it is because we will never use that name. Because your dad said it sounded like Raven. <laughs> Which is yeah. fine. It doesn't match Weston's name. So I feel like. And that's kind of a big thing for us. Like your kids like names like have to match. Not like they have to, but like if but you, if it's together. just like Bartholomew and then like. Bartholomew? Okay, that was the name of Marcus's fish also, mind you. Oh my god. His tiny, tiny fish. Did you go to college? No, I didn't. I'm I uneducated. Did. How to prepare for intimacy within marriage. I, I don't, I would assume it means more like your like heart posture too towards it. Not just like the first time though. Being like super open to talking about it. Like. Yeah, yeah. What That's do you good. think about this? What do you think about, like what are your wants what are your needs what is i think more and that's more something that i think you is not necessarily like obviously a preparation like before you're married yeah but something that happens like yeah. after yeah <laughs> just just to put that in you're there. right right um yeah just being open and like having communication about it because it's new and you're learning yeah. and i know that sounds weird but it really is it's just to be open and communicative about it yeah because if yeah if there's something that you feel about it or that you don't feel, I guess just, yeah, just being honest about it. And I think just before, also just having the perspective, we've talked about this, but that like, it's meant to honor one another. Yeah. So I think having the right mindset about what sex is and what the Lord views it as. Um, it's a celebration. Just keeping it. It's a, it's to glorify him. It's, it's worship a celebration Lord, of, yeah. yeah. For sure. First kiss story. I don't think that can go on the internet yet. I'm not ready for Kaylee. From Kaylee, my best friend. Yep. Marcus. What is our favorite colored animal? My favorite colored animal? That is not the question. Our favorite Fa animal, animal and, and color. color. Oh my bad. I don't really like animals. You don't have a favorite animal? You're a big bird guy. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus had birds for a while. As a kid. And then and one of them died. Okay. I didn't really understand what happened. And he tried to tell me about it and I was like, oh, sorry. Taylor <laughs> hates birds. I hate birds. I don't say I hate many things. Birds, I hate. They're unpredictable. They carry diseases. And okay. they bring fear to my life. <laughs> and I don't know why some people own them. That is so weird. If you have a bird... What is going on? <laughs> Why do you have a winged rat in your home? Oh my gosh. <laughs> when is baby number two coming? Next kid, question mark. We are just in constant prayer about that. For a while, our thought was like when Wes is one, sometimes we think sooner, sometimes we think later. I think we're kind of back and forth. Were there ever times you guys didn't think you were meant for each other? Yes. I think that's a good one to talk about. I think it is a good thing to wrestle with a big decision like that, like who you're going to marry. Like, I think it's a good thing to yeah. question it, to challenge it, to test it. I think there's a balance. And the, the long story short, the answer to your question is yes. Like, there were times where Marks and I questioned, like, if we were supposed to be together. Yeah. Um, and I think, too... I mean, and we've been honest about that. Like, our relationship has by no means been, like, completely perfect. Um, I'm so thankful for every single part of it. But, yeah, yeah I think, like Marcus said, even kind of, like, wrestling with anything that you question and you wrestle with that is truly going to be something that's meant for you. Even in, like, your relationship with the Lord, you yeah. know, like, the working out of your salvation. Like, the Lord talks about yeah. that a lot. Like, if you are faithful to ask questions, to seek, mm. that's going to grow you in that. Show us the um, secret talent you have. Enough said. <laughs> dream like candlelight, like a dream that you couldn't quite place. Woo! 
I have never been the same. <laughs> Your secret talent is you're a theater kid. My secret talent is I am a theater gal. Dealing with insecurity as a teen. Hmm. I would say I struggled with this, but also didn't all at once. Um, mm -hmm. I think for a while, at least for me, I, I've i always just really struggled with like people pleasing and just like my desire to like, I don't know, to like, yeah, yeah. to make others happy. And to like, I don't think I struggled with it to the point of like, I wasn't myself for people, but I think I over, I don't know, I overcompensated, I think yeah. was where more my insecurity came from relationally. Something that I wish I could go back and tell myself too was just that I did not need to be everything to everyone. Yeah. And that I couldn't be everything to everyone. Yeah. And I, I still wrestle with that, to be quite honest. It's not, yeah. and some of that's an insecurity thing too, because you just feel the need to almost like not play God for people, but also try to do what only the Lord can do. And that's be a perfect friend to everyone because only Christ yeah. is that to everyone. Yeah. And I really struggled with that in high school. I think you would probably be able to second that. Yeah. And a big struggle for me was like, just like feeling secure in who I was as like, like that I, that people would like me for like how I acted or like how I looked or like just like the things that I cared about. Yeah. Um, and I think that is that's still I think that's still prevalent like as an adult a desire for people like you yeah but there's also a part of it that for me was just an insecurity that I didn't think that people liked me yeah I just kind of assumed that they didn't yeah um which is a tough place to enter into relationship from yeah yeah exactly and I think I felt the same way I feel way more secure in who I am now and the things that I do and the things that I say and who I am because I am so secure in Christ yeah. that I know who I am and that doesn't mean we don't ever struggle because that's just yeah. not reality but I do there is a different security that Marks and I both ha have now that we yeah. didn't used to because we're we know who we are in the Lord and and in our relationship we're very secure in that so something that, light what's your go-to coffee order hi welcome to Casablanca as vanilla latte please with whole milk that's usually what I get it's a nice yeah. vanilla latte. Um, or a cold brew with vanilla. My baby is three weeks old. When did you start a strict bedtime routine? Um, that's a really good question. I would definitely say for those first, like, fresh newborn um, days, it's a little bit different. Like, that's just a different time in your baby's life, in your life. Yeah. You're really just, like, being acclimated to each other, to, and you know this, but um, we didn't really start actually having a bedtime routine really till Wes was probably two months I would say like yeah it, it was a little while and honestly I think too in those first like those that early month and month to two months too like with feedings because you're feeding so regularly right. like for us what we would do is like most of the time we would be debating like okay f even for us to go to bed we would wait to go to bed till like after his like 12 o'clock feed we moved him in his crib around two months two, months, two and a half months yeah so. when we moved him out of our room I think it was easier to establish a stricter routine yeah, because it's just harder when you're because when you're in the same room with them too, it's just yeah. a different ball game. And it, the right time to move your baby into another room is different for everybody. But I found for Wes, it was really helpful for his sleep and also really helpful for my sleep. How do you incorporate time with the Lord throughout your day? You want to answer you and then I'll answer. Sure. You. Um, I think for me, it's seeing everything as worship. Um, I know that might sound a little bit cheesy, but there's actually. A lot to be said when you view everything like as worship to the Lord and yeah. as like something that can strengthen your relationship with him. I think that's something I've been trying to focus on lately, especially in like thankfulness yeah. um, and giving thanks for things. But also for me, like with Wes, like seeing everything I do with him, like changing his diaper or playing with them or whatever, like seeing it as worship to the Lord because yeah. everything is connected to Christ and your relationship with him. So when you see your daily tasks as worship to him and as a gift from him, and as something to honor him with, then you really never stop having quiet time or time with the Lord, if that yeah. makes sense. Like, it's not yeah, something yeah, you yeah. check in and out of. It's not just about, like, going and sitting down with the Lord. It's about having your mind, um, like, dwelling on truth and on the things of him all day and mm -hmm. in everything that you're doing. So I think that's something that I've tried to do. Especially recently, I really have that on my heart and on my mind. So I think st how I start my day really impacts you know what i prioritize throughout the day sure. and both of us yeah. and in re the reverse like what i prioritize impacts how i start my day and how i go about my day because for me if i'm prioritizing time with the lord if i'm prioritizing starting by 
talking to him or us doing a devotional in the morning, which we do. Um, those are the days that I feel the most like in tune with like, all right, I'm going to do everything in worship and out of like yeah. service to you or to Weston th- and worship the Lord through that mm-hmm. rather than like, That's good. you know, being set up to fail in a way, yeah. you know, yeah, if sure. I don't, if I don't prioritize starting off well. Yeah. Do you feel Marcus was ready to be a dad thinking about it, but not sure if hubby is ready I totally get that struggle. Not as much with Marcus. I feel like, I'll be completely honest, I feel like I've always seen Marcus as a dad. And that's one of the reasons that I married him. Um, but that's also just more of, like, my brain. That's not everyone's brain. Um, yeah. And, like, I think for Marcus, too, that was just a natural way that I saw that the Lord gifted him. But I think giving yourself grace for sure but also giving grace to your spouse because you've never seen them walk in that and that's something too that is like a mutual decision you have to make with each other obviously like having a baby obviously takes two and so in that decision how do you really honor each other and give grace to each other like you cannot um you frankly cannot even look at your spouse and be like i don't think you're ready because nothing makes you even more ready than them necessarily (laughs) unless it's just like pure desire maybe um and i think that that's i know that sounds kind of tough like a tough way to put it but i do think that there's a level of like neither of you are going to be ready you know Mm -hmm. like i think there's a level of maybe maturity yes and financial stability yes that needs to be there for um a little one to be something that you're talking about but Mm -hmm. i do think there is a level of like you need to have grace for your spouse and i think Um, if the things that keep you from having a baby are just a desire to be perfectly ready, you'll never have one. We've talked about that. And in in marriage. Yeah. yeah, And take any step in life. Yeah. Because the the reality is, is the Lord is going to refine you probably a lot more through those things than he will if you're not moving forward and taking action in those things. You know, I think there's a million things Marcus and I have grown in and matured in and sin we've been way more aware of because we got married than we would have ever been aware of if we wouldn't have you yep. know yep. so i think the same is true of parenting and Absolutely. i would just i would really encourage you to seek the lord and seek the lord together and never um kind of make it a one person versus the other thing like it's both of yeah. you you're a team you're unified um you're one in christ and you're one in marriage so yeah. that's a that's a really important decision that has to be made between both of you and not yeah. just you making the decision that he isn't ready right so all right guys thank you for submitting all of your questions yes. and Yeah, thanks for watching the first part and this part as well. We love you guys, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye. I would like to say that I'm in college every day, though, because I never stop learning.